Hello friends. Today's video is for all those of you who are struggling to learn or teach tables from 6 to 10. I'm going to show you a simple way of solving the times table using your own fingers. Before starting, I would like to welcome you all to Happiness Mantra. Do like, share and subscribe to stay connected. start with remember that the ta time table of 1 to 5 needs to be known for the remaining here's the simple trick so i've written the numbers 6 7 8 9 and 10 on this hand and the same on the other one 6 7 8 9 and 10 okay so any two numbers that we need to multiply we need to join the fingers of those numbers uh how about doing 8 times 7 so 8 sevens are See how we go about it. Can you please join eight sevens? Are yes. So see how many fingers are here? One, two, three, four, and five. So the fingers below the bridge are written first, and we add a zero to it, so that will be fifty. And then the fingers which are remaining on top, we have three on this hand, and we have two on this hand. So three times two. Is what we need to do. So three times two is six. What we'll do is add this here. So fifty plus six gives fifty-six. Eight times seven is fifty-six. Now let's try nine sevens are. Okay. So when we are doing nine sevens are again the same method. We'll count the fingers one, two, three, four, five, six. Six below the bridge, so we have a sixty, and then we have three fingers here and one left over this side. So three ones are, which is three again. So sixty plus three, sixty-three, and our table was nine times seven, sixty-three, which is the answer. Okay, now let's try six six are. So in this case, what has happened is two here. Okay, so we'll get a twenty. We have four fingers of this hand left over. One, two, three, and four, and the same of this hand. So we have four fingers both the sides, which makes it four into four, sixteen. So twenty plus sixteen, thirty-six. So six times six is thirty-six. Okay, now let's do for ten. Although I know everyone remembers the table of ten, but just to give you an idea of how to use a zero when it comes. So can we have eight times ten? Okay. So when we do eight times ten, let's see how many fingers we have below the bridge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these are eight fingers. Join them, please. Yeah. Eight fingers below the bridge, which makes it eighty, and then we have no fingers here, so we'll multiply zero with two. So eighty plus zero is eighty. So eight times ten is eighty. Okay. So I hope all of you enjoyed this trick. It's simple. It's easy for those of you who haven't learned your tables. You can use this for your mental math sums, for your multiplication sums, and have a great time doing it. And for those of you who know the tables, this can act as a checking tool as to whether your answers are correct or not. So do practice and do enjoy doing tables like this. I'm sure you're going to have a lot of fun. I have another quick trick for the table of nine. So for the table of nine, whichever number we multiply by nine, that is the finger that we need to fold. So in case we are going to do nine six zar, so five and one six. Okay, so when we have nine six zar, the answer is going to be five and four this side, so fifty four. Simple. In case we do nine three zar, so we fold the third finger, so the answer is twenty and seven fingers on the right. So twenty-seven. That's the answer for nine threes are. Very cool. Nothing to do at all in this. 
and for nine i'm sure many of you already know this trick for those of you who don't there's another way of solving the table of nine so let me quickly write the table for you nine threes four So once our table is written, all we need to do is write counting from 0 to 9. And on the other side, we just need to do a reverse counting. So we can just write it backwards. There you go. The table of 9 is done. 9 ones are 9, 9 twos are 18 and so on. See, we got the whole table of 9 sorted out. So there are two tricks for the table of 9. In fact, even the first one that I taught you plus these two extra tips and tricks. Happy learning, happy teaching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Bye-bye.